Ash Eternator, Season 1, Episode 1, The Cambrian Explosion. Hello friends, this story is part of a series about two young fort raiders, Bajada and Akshay. In this pilot episode, they are on an annual vacation in the Caribbean. There's a car. Oh, maybe it's the Andamans. Yikes, I know it has to have sea and has to be full of exotic sea life because they told me that one day when they were out in the sea diving, they saw the most magical under the sea life. It was just spectacular. That's where they came across an emerald and the rest is prehistory. Now, without much delay, let's watch the first episode of this series. <laughs> Action! I'm so excited! You think we see any lemon sharks on our way? Sharks? You didn't warn me about any sharks! Of course, Akshi Bakshi! They're gonna see sharks! Get it? See sharks? Lemon sharks aren't gonna hurt you! But that doesn't mean you should put poking fingers around it! Forget about poking fingers! I might just run away seeing them! Run away? Are you a bassless lizard to be able to run on water? A bassa waka what now? <laughs> bassa waka. <laughs> oh look, a fish. Oh wow, great spotting. I think it's a rainbow trout. Really? How did you know? I'm not very sure. But did you see the red side stripe it had? Hmm, interesting, Mr. Animal Planet. A mangrove branch is right in front of Akshay, and he is looking away from it. Budra tries to warn him, but bang, 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 and Akshay is in the water with a splash. Oh, Axe, quickly, duck, duck. Where, where did you spot a duck? Not a duck as in a bird, Dumbo. I was asking you to duck. Oh, that makes sense now. That's why I didn't see any ducks. Both my boys must have a good laugh about the silly fog and move on. As they are enjoying the sea and surroundings, they start to drift off farther away and come across caverns and cave openings. They maneuver the canoe and see that one of the caverns is filled with some ancient pirate remains and loot. They are extremely thrilled and decide to snorkel to further explore the seabed. OMG! Look at all this fossilized plunder and scallywag bones! Let's go for a dip and see what's wedged below in the sea. And don't worry, the snorkeling gear is sharp of my... Okay, I trust you. Let's go! This is exciting, mate! Both for boys, Jump into the water, and while diving, they see many different fish like lionfish, clownfish, yellow tanks, surgeonfish, Caribbean reef octopus, manta rays, red crescent starfish, corals, and even sharks. This is where they also spot a big chest of treasure and a beautiful green emerald. They pick up the emerald, and suddenly... <coughs> The emerald they had touched and picked up turns out to be a time traveling machine. It actually transports them into different Earth epochs. So, in this episode, they end up in the Cambrian era. But they don't know that yet. Surprise! We're right where we started, Akshay, but the sea creatures look so weird, and the water is so much colder and cleaner. But isn't it quite stinky? Maybe it's the sulfur and phosphorus. Oh, I thought you farted. <laughs> and that's where the stink is coming from. Oh, are there some other time? This place has changed. Yep, bingo, Axe. This is the same sea. But millions and millions and millions of years ago. I bet you can't tell what that weird thing is. 
That is a banana dance. Now you are just making stuff up. Okay, okay, it's a trilobite. Oh, a trilobite. Wow, I always wanted to see those. It's a miracle we're able to see a trilobite. You know, Akshay, most of the modern multicellular organisms are from this period. There are so many animals I can see here, which probably are echinoderms, but nothing like modern starfish or sea urchins. Yeah, honestly, they look like aliens to me. Can you spot any archaeo, siatha, or a heolith? God, these names from the past are making me woozy. Speaking of the past, I think the emerald is a time machine, Axe. Let's check out this Cambrian period a little more and maybe we can go see some dinosaurs next. Or what is it you want to see? Let's do dinos later. Why don't we check out Homo erectus? I want to fast forward and then rewind. Oh you trickster! You wanna play around with the earth, eh? And both the boys continue with their adventure through time. In the next episode, they visit Homo erectus, the archaic human from the Pleistocene eon. There, they learn about the Achillean tools and try to find their canine companions. Will they find any? We will have to wait for the next episode.